<coughs> Hi. Uh, this is a continuation of my series, video series. I'm going to call it uh, The Muslim Who Will Not Die. That's, I just thought it would be a good start, good uh, series for it. Anyway, it's, it's going to be in my book called uh, Embryos and Ants. Uh, yeah, of embryos and ants featuring the Muslim I'm talking to here for this video series and another Muslim who seems to have quit on me. But this Muslim will not die, so I expect the book to be pretty long. Uh, he's already given me enough information for a book, and I have a feeling which I'll be publishing under the pen name of Ramit Ramsey, which you can get on Google. Uh, which you can get on uh, Amazon, and uh, I want to tell you he's he's pretty good. I I, I say he's kind of like a well he 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 he's knowledgeable, and he's really good at Takia. so I think you'll enjoy the series. Um, I call him the Muslim who will not die because usually Muslims have quit by now, but this guy keeps on going, so I'm gonna call this series the Muslim that will not die. <laughs> <laughs> okay, when I do this, I'll be using this side of my face. I'm going to use uh, my words to this side of the face. Okay, yeah. I'll continue here. Dead Sea Scrolls? Yeah, Dead Sea Scrolls, guess what? You can't prove what was in the time of Muhammad wasn't the Bible. All you can do is believe that only the Jews and Christians of Mecca and Medina and had Bibles completely different from the Bibles that match the Dead Sea Scrolls of Bibles in every other part of the world. I don't know about you, but that takes a huge amount of faith on the part of Quran 4, 136, 150, 151, 152, 2, 285, and 40 through 72, oh, also in uh, 1094, uh, takes a lot of uh, faith on those uh, scripture, Quran scripture believing Muslims. A huge amount. You will say, my copy is older than Muhammad. Which copy? Well, maybe there was many copies, not one knows. Dead Sea Scrolls matching the meaning with Old Testament? Just like you have four Gospels at the same time, and as the Bible history, there was some books being rejected. So there was other copies, and maybe the one was with the people there is not the same one you have. Rejected or not, they still pretty much preach that Jesus died on the cross for sins. By the way, the Apocrypha is, is missing from the Dead Sea Scrolls. No, there's no Maccabees in the Dead Sea Scrolls. And so I read, quote, The order in which the books of the New Testament appear differs between some collections and ecclesiastical traditions I go by what I go by what we now have not something say before King James I go by what the what we have in the Dead Sea Scrolls and yes I go by what Esther says even though it's missing from those Dead Sea Scrolls in the Latin West prior to the Vulgate and earlier 5th century Latin version of the Bible. The four Gospels were arranged in the following order. Matthew, John, Luke, and Mark. The Syriac Pasheta places the major general epistles, James, 1st Peter, and 1st John, immediately after Acts, and before the Pauline epistles. It uh, gives the Wikipedia something, the New Testament. Which means your books are collected as one book very late, and as you see, it's near to Muhammad time, which means the possibility of having different copies are very high. Ooh, and that means the Bible is false? So the books are out of order, right? Well, did you know that Quran 9, Surah 9, is supposed to be the last chapter of the Quran? If so, and having chapters out of order, or books and letters, well, how... Well, then how is the Quran not false for you? You know. Don't give me your dead sea things. <laughs> I can see why you would want them. Boy, can I. Because I read some, and they say it's fake. <laughs> oh, so they 
placed in those. So they were placed in those caves by people who use time travel to go back into the past. How, how are they fake? Which non takiang line for Allah Muslim told you they were fake? And some it says it's not matching uh, the old books even. Not matching? In what way? How much you want to bet they match enough to let us know, Allah, since Allah supposedly wrote the Torah given to Musa, uh, that talks about the Passover and innocent animals being used for sin offerings and blood atonement. You know, blood atonement and sin offerings for what? If uh, there's no... Uh, uh, if there's no foreshadowing of Jesus Christ here. And some are not even complete. Oh, I've heard that. Which means nothing. For just because Esther is, isn't present, or parts of Jeremiah are missing, doesn't mean squat. For what is present pretty much matches with what is present in the, in the Old Testament, as far as meaning goes. That it's pretty much matching the meaning. Uh, of what is present in the Old Testament. Proof that there is no change in meaning. Proof that the same care from Christian scribes probably also went into the preservative of the, Old, of, of the New Testament, the Injil, as well. Just parts of the pages. Some teaching? Sorry, that's not enough. It's certainly enough for me. How come it's not enough for you? Well, I can guess. Uh, one word makes your Bible change. No one word can change. No one word can one word change can mean those who made the Dead Sea Scrolls made a mistake. And you know that. For one thing, if there was just one jot or tittle copied wrong, the whole Torah was supposed to be thrown out and destroyed, burned, I believe. If I have my Bible history right, that is. And again, even if it's same copy doesn't mean there was no other copies. So, what are the ch chances that we will find other Dead Sea Scrolls on this planet that are different from what is in the Old Testament? Especially when... Let's see, where is this going? Oh, yeah. Especially when... There was just, if there was just one jot and tittle copied wrong, the whole Torah was supposed to be destroyed. Again, that's if I have my Bible, prophecy, if I have my Bible history right. Let's stay in one point. Then later, next point. Okay. Again, if I tell you Jesus came to fulfill and won't change anything of the law, you will tell me that's not what it means. No, I'll say he made the law more binding to the point where... Uh, we will have to be totally dependent upon his blood that he shed on the cross um, for sins, for salvation. And so I know, so and so I know what my book says. And I know what the verse it means. And it clearly says Jews and Christians changed and hide the words of God. <laughs> well, if that's true, if so, then why come to me for my reading the Before Scriptures Bible? If you're in doubt about the, quote, clear signs, the Quran, that's Quran 1094. Does that make sense? Uh, and when you say God said he will protect his word, yes, in present time, where in the Bible, where, where in the Quran does it say Allah will only protect its words in present time? If that is the case, then why obey Quran 4, 136, 150, 151, 152, 252, 285, and 40, 70 through 72, uh, 70 through 72, and 1094, Quran 1094. Why? Why obey them? If it, you know. And no one can change. Well, if, if someone changed all the words of Allah that aren't the Quran, then again, why obey Quran 4, 136, 150, 151, 152, 285, 40 through 72, and 1094? It not, it not, no one did change it. Is that clear enough? Where in the Quran does it say the Bible, book, the quote, book, and quote, is changed, altered, so you don't have to obey Quran 4, 136, 150, 151, 152, 2285, 43, 72, and 1094. Because to me, having something, quote, hidden inside a book or uh, thrown over one's back means nothing. Saying moved around, uh, they move words around means nothing. 
See Quran 9 being the last surah chapter of the Quran to know what I mean. Quran ch chapter surah 9 should have been chapter uh, 114 because that's what it, yeah. Because, you know, it, it, chapter 9 is actually the last chapter of the Quran. It should be uh, marked as one four, uh, 114, which is not the last chapter of the Quran. Yeah. Can you give me the Hadith reference? And so I may check it, it's authenticated or what, or, or, or false. He calls Muslims false, false. Okay, anyway. I, 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 Oh, he's talking to my friend, so that's not to me, so forget it. Uh, who's talking here? Okay. Oh, okay, my friend jumped in here, kind of uh, messed things up a little bit. I don't care, he's my friend, yeah. Okay, he's talking to my friend. Now I'm talking to him, okay. You must say, also if the book that the Quran confirms and reminds that the before scriptures is not the Bible, then what is the book? Exactly. What is the book? Uh, well, I don't care where is because we have the last book from God which tells you you will be dragged off in the hellfire for not believing in a book Bible all Muslims believe to be corrupted. But we know it's a book was given to Jesus himself, not to Paul or anyone else. <laughs> oh? So you are saying it is a book. Well, where is that angel to stand firm upon? Quran 568. And to judge therein at the Quran 547. When did it become lost and corrupted to make Quran 568 and 547? Lies and jokes. And you know something? I think I'll quit it here. But 